Hello and welcome back. So today, instead of covering one film stock, I'm going to be covering two film stocks I recently shot the same subject in. So I loaded up my Fed 3, my rangefinder. Um, I loaded up some Fuji Superior 400 and pushed it to 800 so I could shoot it at a basketball game. And gymnasiums are super dark, so I knew I was going to need something faster than a 400 speed film to get a decent uh, shutter speed in the uh, in the gym. So pushing it to 800 allowed me to get a decently fast shutter speed, but it's still going to have a little motion blur, which is fine. I was just looking to experiment and just see how well the film handled being pushed one stop and to see what I can capture with the rangefinder. Um, not having autofocus, there's that struggle and um, that to overcome trying to pre-focus on an area and hope a player goes into there and um, I can get the shot off. So I pre-focused for some shots on the bench and under the basket and a huddle shot um, of the head coach. So you'll see those photos and then the other role I loaded up my uh, Mia Flex here with Ilford Delta 400, and I just shot that at box speed. This lens on this camera goes to f2.8, so I just kept it at f2.8 and pre-focused some stuff under the basket as well, and just pre-focused a couple various shots. I uh, got a handful of images out of it that uh, I really do like, so there's that. So I'm gonna show those images, and here they are. So this isn't the first time um, pushing Fuji Superior. I had recently, probably a year and a half ago, pushed it three stops because I was doing a morning hike down in Arkansas and I really wanted to keep my shutter speed fast. I wasn't fully aware of what pushing film really meant for it. Um, I thought, oh, it'll just allow me to get a faster shutter speed, but it also adds um, color shifts and punchier contrast so your shadows aren't going to have as much detail stuff like that so that role was kind of a fail but pushing it one stop i feel like the colors came out really really well and the grain isn't that bad for superior superior for being a 400 speed film it is like their base film so it's not the greatest um, but pushing it to 800 i was quite shocked and i really liked how the images came out the colors were nice um, I feel like they had a lot of uh, richness to them. So I'll probably definitely do that in the future again if I need an 800 speed film and I don't want to shoot 800T or Portrait 800. So now on to the Ilford. I've never shot Delta 400. I had purchased it just so I could try it out. Black and white was something I was going to shoot a lot during the winter. I've shot color multiple times at our basketball gymnasium at the college. And I figured why not try out some black and white and see if that works out any better because I've never really liked the color film photos that came out from our gym. It's very dark for a college gymnasium. A lot of the high school gyms are brighter. So black and white was the choice. I also have never really shot anything outside of like just walking around or self portraits with the Mimia Flex. It's pretty new to me. Um, it's definitely a slower process. But being able to pre-focus an area like under the basket, pre-focusing on the net or at the bench, if you could pre-focus and just be ready 
with your framing and just kind of wait it out, then you could probably get some decent photos. And I really liked how these photos came out. I love how fine the grain is on this 400 speed film. I'll definitely be trying it out in 35 millimeters soon, hopefully. And um, I'll definitely be getting another roll of 120 as well. Ilford films are something that I've been slowly diving into. I've always been a fan of Ortho Plus since like two Christmases ago. I shot a roll at my family Christmas and really loved how that came out. HP5 is um, something I've shot multiple rolls of now. So um, slowly making my way into other Ilford rolls and Delta 400 did not fail me. So with that said, I hope you guys liked these photos. If you liked this video, I appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. I'm almost to a thousand subscribers. As of right now, I'm at 999, which by the time this goes up, I might have hit a thousand. So um, that was my goal for 2022. I didn't hit it, but here we are early into 2023 and hit that goal. So we're um, constantly climbing and um, let's hope for another strong year of uh, videos. So that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.